the company. It's only 11 on 11, Cleland. Uh, and that, that defense that he's a part of, that elite defensive line, uh, they find themselves in the last meeting of Power 5 undefeateds on the college football schedule as the Tigers get a visit from NC State this week. It will be strength on strength, and both have had a week off to get ready for this one. The Tigers, their transition to Trevor Lawrence has been buoyed by running back Travis Etienne, averaging over nine yards a carry, three rushing touchdowns in each of his last two games. There he goes. The NC State defense has allowed three rushing touchdowns all season. And when they have the ball, they go to the air. Ryan Finley, sixth in passing yards per game nationally. The Tigers, D, though, sixth in passing yards allowed per game. Winner staying perfect. You know, you want to be in this position where you're playing for a lot and uh, against another team that's playing for a lot. I mean, this is what it's all about. You know, it's having these kind of matchups. For us, it's, it's about elevating our program. And, and it's about doing something that we haven't been able to do as a coach, uh, as a player yet. And, and all those things matter to us, to them. That's uh, why you work so hard. This is going to be a, a big game, man. I mean, they're all huge, as we know. Uh, but there's, there's not many undefeated teams left uh, out there. And you got two of them facing off in the Valley on Saturday. And you best believe no team wants to lose. Uh, so you, you're going to have a... You're going to have two teams that, that are going to be passionate about winning. This is what it's all about. And we're all about undefeated teams getting together, but Sportsline doesn't think it's going to be close, even though NC State should have won this game last yeah, year. Last Sportsline has yeah. Clemson doubling them up uh, and winning by 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. Uh, so, anyone here taking NC you State to ready to start us off? <laughs> He's always there to help. <laughs> NC, NC State has struggled stopping this Clemson offense. Last four games against this offense, they've given up over 500 yards a game. It's been just terrible for them. Now, Clemson, on the other hand, in conference games, has played really, really well. They're, they've managed to cover. They've been against the spread. They've been 4-1 and one the last five. They're going to be 5-1. and one. They're going to cover, and they're going to win. Mm. Everyone anticipates Clemson winning this game. And for good reason. ETN's got it clicking right now. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence is coming in. He's 20 25. Here's what it was 38 31 last year. So if you look at the numbers, what do they have to change? They were 3 of 13 last year on third down. Have to be much better there. Finley can't throw two picks, which was the case a year ago. And they've got to continue to keep the time of possession. I don't think they can get all that done. I'm on Clemson. If NC State's going to win this game, they're going to have to control the line of scrimmage. And that is not going to be easy against this Clemson defense. Now, they've only played five games, but they've been pretty dang good up front, both in the run game and in pass protection. In fact, they lead the ACC in sacks allowed, number two in the nation, only two. We've seen this Clemson front seven get after folks. Remember them 11 sacks at Auburn yeah. that they got on yeah. them a couple years ago? I don't think it's going to be that. I think that NC State plays them tough, but Clemson gets the win. Uh, uh, NC State has been running the rock, averaging 225. Clemson fourth in the nation behind those uh, service academies, 280 a game. And how about this, the chunk plays. Chunk plays galore. 34 or 24, 30 plus of uh, explosive plays, and they lead the nation with 12 plays of 50 or more. That's all they had all of last season was 12 of those type of plays. Clemson wins this. All right. 